Guns N' Roses music at her wedding, don't you? I said, no way, I'm not having Guns N' Roses music at my wedding. But the thing was, I couldn't tell her why I didn't want Guns N' Roses music at my wedding. See, the thing is, I hold a resentment to Guns N' Roses because they did me out of a shag. Now, let me tell you, there was this woman I'd been chasing, oh, for months and months and months. She was like a rock chick. This was years ago, mind. It's like a rock chick with all the leather gear on, sexy as anything. And I tried and I tried, but she wasn't interested. So I gave up. But you know what happens? As soon as a woman thinks you're not interested in them, well, they get interested in you, don't they? So comes a night, she comes over. She says, do you want to come back to my place? <clears throat> well, I was like a ferret down a rabbit hole, I'm telling you that. We got back to hers and she puts guns and roses on. Well, I start laughing and giggling. She says, what are you laughing at? I said, oh, they're great, this band, they're really funny. She says, what do you mean funny? I said, well, you know, they like Spinal Tap, aren't they? They're a good joke band. She said, they're certainly not a joke band. I said, you're joking with all that scratching and screeching? Well, I ended up on the doorstep. So there'll be no Guns N' Roses at my wedding, thank you very much. I had a look. Why don't you just fucking text messages? Why did you not answer? Huh? Staying upstairs and joining yourself with the guys. That's what you want, yeah? Is that what you're here for? What? Listen, you, you're letting the paranoia get the better of you. It is paranoia. paranoia. And then you came downstairs, you looked at me, and you just left. So why did you not even speak to me? What? Right, right. Number one, my telephone's in there. I'm up on the terrace, so I didn't see your text messages. Number two, I thought you were asleep, so I didn't want to disturb you. And number three, who the hell do you think you're talking to? Were you involved in what happened today? In that binyard? The binyard? I haven't been at the fucking binyard in ages. In language? Yeah, language. It's called English, thank you. Ah, oh, smarty pants. But it's a bad day when you won't answer my question. Now, were you involved in what happened today in that binyard? I fucking told language. you. Language! I have F-U-C-K-I-N-G told you a million F-U-C-K-I-N-G times. I haven't been to the F-U-C-K-I-N-G binyard in ages. Now you tell me. Right. I want you to finish up quick, and I want you to behave yourself, and especially watch your language. Can I keep the F-U-C-K? No! I've, uh, I've left you the flat. <laughs> I've sold nearly everything. It's just me being spiteful. I love you, Taha. Oh, it's that? I always will. Anyway, I'll see you. See you up there.